used to be being loud, hanging out, making moves all over town, trying to be cautious, showcasing my style. Everybody wanna know what's going down, but that's not how I'm living. Good morning, my beauties. It is CC, your frugal goddess. I am coming to you this morning with a um, hair update. And if, as you guys know, uh, earlier this year, or I think it was last year, I did a review on this hair grease called Frenchies. Well, Retro Diva Jones had told me about Frenchies because I would always complain about my hair, you know, being really thin and this and that in the front. And she's like, get you some Frenchies, get you some Frenchies. That that was always, always her um, answer to my hair problem was get you some Frenchies. So, got me some Frenchies, y'all. I will include a link down below where you can get Frenchies from. Um, there are other ones that people have been using, like uh, something pine tar, some pine tar hair grease or whatever. If I can find those links, I will also link them. I have not tried them, but they have used it in comparison to Frenchies. Um... People, you know, they say they have good results or what have you. Again, I have not tried it. The one thing, um, where's my comb, y'all? The one thing, okay, those of you that follow me know that, like, this area of my hair right here was completely bald. It was no hair there, okay? It was like a baby's bottom. My edge is here. Um, I didn't have any. My hairline was, like, right here. And all of this was gone. Well, as you can see, it is some hair there now. It's some peach fuzz. And I do mean peach fuzz. But, y'all, if I could find the pictures, I will insert them right here. It was, this was gone. Wasn't nothing there. I literally thought that my follicles were gone um, in this area because it was nothing there, period. I mean, you know, it's not, it's not a lot there now. But it, it, as long as it's a follicle, as long as that peach fuzz is there, it can grow. So, um, as far as the front of my hair, it is longer. It's not thicker, okay? Well, I guess it's a little thicker, you know. But the front of my hair has been thin all of my life, okay? And then these little wispy edges you see right here is where it literally was probably about that much hair, um, the back of my, ooh, I'm using that back there. <laughs> the back of my hair, um, is, um, uh, what is this? I guess shoulder length, maybe. Shoulder length, a little longer than shoulder length. Um, the sides are directly at my shoulder. So, yeah, I mean, I don't have, and this is probably about, a year or two of hair growth because I cut, I think a year or two ago, I cut all my hair off and well, I, I did it by accident, but anyway, I cut my hair off. So, um, I was, uh, natural for a minute and y'all that just did not work out for me. I applaud every natural person out there. I mean, seriously, I applaud <laughs> Because it did not work out for me. It, my hair was falling off. It was breaking off. Um, and I mean, I can, I did, I cut, clipped. I did all of that. And it just was not for me. Maybe because I do wear wigs a lot. I, not a lot. I wear wigs 99.9% .9 of the time. But I'm, maybe I wasn't properly taking care of my hair underneath. And by it being natural, in a natural curly state, it was just in bad shape. So, um, I'm just going to show you like a little bit of what I do to prepare my hair. And this is what I was doing even when I was natural, except I would do French braids sometimes until my hair had grown out enough for me to do the two plaits. But this is um, actually what this is. This is the Murray's Beeswax Natural Lock Molding Paste. Holds cornrows, braids, twists, and locks. Uh, it's for natural styles. I take this and I scoop 
some of this out originally. And then I mix in some of the um, Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie for moisture for my hair. And I mix it in with this really good. And it works. The other thing I learned from being natural is sealing the ends of your hair. And again, what I do... Um, this is castor oil. You can use anything you want to to seal, seal the ends and seal your hair. Um, sorry about that. This is castor oil. You can get, this is the Body Works brand. I have um, a couple of brands. I have, uh, what is it, Skin Organics. This is coconut uh, castor oil. And I have another one underneath the sink somewhere. But you just seal the ends of your hair. And I do have to say... That is two items I have been using on my hair from watching natural hair videos that even in the relaxed state, my hair is healthier. Um, one is aloe vera gel, and I'm going to show you what I do with that. It's a gel form. It's a liquidy gel form, as y'all can see. And I just take that and I put it on my hair. It's almost like water. Adding water, but it is actually aloe vera. Uh-oh. Y'all know I had to drop something. There go my drop for the video. It's uh, like adding water to your hair. And I do that. Then I get something else for moisture. And this is uh, Right On Extra Silk Protein Finishing Lotion. It says Deep Penetrating Formula for Dry Curls, Waves, or Body Perms. Oil-free sheen, full body softness. The reason I use this, if you could see the price, $149. I got it on clearance when I was uh, on my vacation. And it's just a cream. I get y'all know what this this is probably, you know, like the lock method type thing. Because lock is liquid oil and cream. And so this is similar to that. Um, so then after I do that, I come in with my Frenchies and y'all, I mix different essential oils in this. And what I really do with this is I hit my, my little spots here. Make sure I protect my edges. I have a, uh, stress spot right here in my hair and I make sure I get that. And then, um. The other thing I do is I just rub a little bit in my hands and I go over the ends of my hair. And it may seem like I put a lot on there, but it really wasn't a lot. Uh, I have a big head, y'all. And when I tell you my hair sucks oil up like crazy. And so then I brush it down. Okay, then I brush it down. Sorry about that, y'all. I had got a phone call. But I'm going to do this real quick. I brush it down. And my camera's going to cut off in a few minutes. So I'm going to get this really quick. The last thing I do is I go around my edges again with this mixture. And this is just really my edges and my stress spot. And this is, to me, it's a protectorant because it's kind of thick. And I brush that in, y'all. And that's about it. I brush it down. Take my comb. Ooh, y'all, it's nappy. Okay. Take my comb. Pull it up into a ponytail. Okay, y'all, sorry about that. Um, I am going to, oh, this is what I was doing. I'm finna, uh, I brush this out. I'm finna throw this braid in here and put a little of the casserole on my hand and seal this up. And we're gonna be done with this video, but this is my process of what I do with my hair. Um, like I said, you know, I don't do a lot of manipulation to my hair. Um, I try not to do heat and all of that, you know, just dip my little wigs and stuff 
over the summer. I did do a couple of buns and what have you because it was just so hot. But other than that, that this is what I do to my hair. Um, my hair has actually grown back and exceeded the length of what it was um, before I did the big chop, chop thing. And I just use a little uh, of the castor oil and I seal the ends and seal my hair, you guys. And that is it. I know I am looking like a little grease monkey here, but that is it. That's how I do my hair. Um, that's that. So I'm going to upload this video today, Monday. I have my weight loss update, which I haven't lost any weight, but I have maintained. Probably lost a pound or something, but I'm cool with where I'm at. Um, I have my weight loss update. Wednesday is a wig review. And then Thursday, I think I have a haul coming. Actually, I'm going to do all the videos today, so y'all going to see me in this same sparkly top. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm just going to... Uh, I'm going to, you know, plan the uploads. I can't even think of what it is. Schedule. That's it. Schedule the uploads. Anyway, I want you guys to have a beautiful, blessed day. Remember to be your own kind of beautiful. And tell somebody you love them. Don't wait too late. Later.